Okay guys, this is Sam, he's a schnauzer, and I'm gonna show you how to do a schnauzer cut today, pet schnauzer cut, that is. I'm not gonna show you how to strip the coat out, um, just because normally around here for pets, that's not what we do. So, <clears throat> uh, I've already, I've already plucked the inside of his ears, um, got all the hair out of there, cleaned him, he's had a bath, he's been all brushed out, and um, I've done his sanitary area under there, I've clipped his paw pads nice and neat, and also his bum area. So I've also done his toenails. So you won't see any of that. If you want to see that, I have another video with a different dog, but it's pretty much the same, no matter what kind of dog you do. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do the body first, and then I will come back and show you how to do the head. I may fit it all in one video, or it may be in two. I'm not sure about that yet. But we'll start with his body, like I said. Okay, now, for a schnauzer body, um, you don't wanna go any shorter than a seven blade. Uh, a lot of groomers will use a 10, and it's it's not good for their skin. Uh, technically, like I said before, you're supposed to strip their coat, but it's just not really necessary or um, convenient for a pet. So, normally, at least around here, what we do is clip them down, I, like I said, don't like to use anything over or shorter than a seven. You can use a five blade or if, you're, if your customer likes your dog or you per personally like your dog longer, you can use a longer blade. It's entirely up to you. Um, his owners like him fairly short. Normally, actually, we shave him all the way down except for his little schnauzer face. But um, today, they actually decided they want to try a schnauzer cut on him, which is why I'm making the video for you guys. So, what you're going to do is... Just like with every other dog I do, you're going to start at the back of the head and work your way back, okay? And schnauzers get um, a skirt and their legs get left and just trimmed up. And what you want to find is their little elbow here, okay? And you want to go about two fingers above the elbow is where you start to drop off for the skirt. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a second. And then you blend off the body where it rolls under. A cocker, you, you take where it's the, the widest, you would blend off the widest, but on a schnauzer, you take it just a little bit shorter or lower than that where the body starts to roll under. Because schnauzers are real muscular dogs and you want to show off those muscles. So, And then on the back here, what you do is you find the hawk, which this is the hawk right here, and you want to take three fingers width above the hawk and you will find your line here and come down and their little bottom gets shaved clean again to show the muscles. So, <clears throat> I'll show you what I've been talking about. You'll start at the back of the head. And you'll work your way back all the way down the back. Okay, I like to go down a couple of times just to make sure I get everything. And from there you'll start your line. Like I said, about two fingers above the elbow, just to show off that nice shoulder muscle, okay? You want to always follow the direction that the coat lays naturally, so it's going to be a down and back motion. kind of an odd angle for me, so you don't have to bear with me a little bit here. Normally I'm right in front of where the camera is right now. Makes it a little easier. Okay. Now, the tail is clipped as well. And like I said before, you want to find your line here and connect it to the three fingers above the hop. Okay? At an angle. Just like that. Okay? Alright. Now, in front here, 
if you can see that. I apologize, he's a dark dog. That's really all I have to work, work with. <laughs> I don't have any other schnauzers that get a schnauzer cut. But it's the same idea. They don't get a real poofy chest. So you just take your clipper straight down. You don't hold it straight to the body the whole way. But you just want to blend right off the front of the chest, just like that. Okay, so that's your basic line for schnauzer cut. Same thing on this side, and you may need to switch your blade. Mine's not too terribly warm, but if it takes you longer than that, which I suppose that if you've never groomed before, it will, you'll want to switch your blade out because you can clip or burn your dog if you don't. I went ahead and switched, switched mine anyway. So you start at the back of the neck, working your way back, okay? Helps when your dog stands in a natural position. Some dogs are really scared and nervous, so they won't. You just got to kind of deal with your dog and, and how he reacts. Sam is really good. He wasn't so much the first time I did him. He was really nervous. But he's gotten much better over the times that I've done him. And now he's a really, really good little boy. Again, you're going to find your elbow and start blending off about two fingers above the elbow to expose this muscle. And then keeping with that, you're going to go along the side, start blending off when his belly starts to roll under. Okay, and then you're going to find three fingers above the hop, okay? And you're going to clip to that point, back over here. Get a nice clean little butt. Okay, you want to completely shave the tail. Now I've already done his little hiney area where they did the sanitary, excuse me. So all I need to worry about now is the top and the sides of the tail. This is something that a lot of dogs have a problem with. They don't really care for their tail or, or kind of mess with. Um, some dogs will get cranky about it. Some dogs just try to sit down, which if your dog is a sitter when you're trying to do that, one thing you can do is take your hand or your arm underneath your dog and you can hold their tail out from the other direction. That way they can't sit, okay? Does that make sense? All right. Now that we've got the, the schnauzer cut basically in place, um, what I like to do to make sure I've got things even, um, going by the fingers is a good judge that will help you get it even on both sides. But what you want to do when you're done <laughs> is take your hand, find where you left off on this side, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to take your hand, put it where you left off, and they should be even. I don't know if you can see that or not, but your hand should be in the same spot on the dog, okay? It's a good, easy way to tell whether or not you've got things even.